Hallelujah. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Hallelujah. Let us open our Bibles to the book of Psalms chapter 34 verse 6. Last week we were in Psalms chapter 34. For those that still remember, today we are going to read verse 36. I also believe you read this book of Psalms when you went home. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Are you there? Psalms 34 verse Number six, it says, this poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. I'll read it again. This poor man cried out, the Lord heard him, and saved him from all his trouble. I like the other version, it says, out of all his troubles. Amen, which means he was free. Hallelujah. Let us bow our heads and pray. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. God, my lips today as I preach your precious word, your holy word, I pray in the name of Jesus. Release the action of the Holy Spirit to unlock those that are in prisons in this place. Let the captive be set free in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we know where your spirit is. It liberates people in the name of Jesus. Where your spirit is, he liberates people. He liberates them. He set them free. I pray in the name of Jesus, if there's anyone that is bound in this service, even online, in the name of Jesus, even those that are going to hear this sermon, even online, I pray that you set them free from any form and kind of bondage because there is nothing greater than you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray that captives be set free in the name of Jesus. I release an unction of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus through all mediums, through all platforms online in the name of Jesus. Let captives be set free in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, as I was uh, preparing to come and to preach, the Lord laid on my heart uh, the theme that I should dwell on as we are going to share the word of God. Amen, amen. There is a title he laid upon my heart, Embracing God in Our Vulnerabilities. Embracing God in Our Vulnerability. Embracing God in our vulnerability. I don't know if there are some people that feel vulnerable in this place, in many areas. I want to urge you to embrace God. Embrace God and He's going to help you. The devil is a liar. Embrace God and you are going to sing and have a laughter. Oh, I already feel the presence of the Lord in this place. Embrace God and you are going to see a breakthrough. Oh, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I don't know if I'm talking to someone in this place. Of course, I know you are weeping. But there is joy that is looking at you in your darkness. Your morning is about to come. What I need you to continue to do is to embrace God. In this time of your vulnerability. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not on this message on my own. The Lord drove me to these messages. And I'm believing the Lord for breakthrough in this place. I'm believing the Lord for multiple breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus. I am believing the Lord if you have never seen a breakthrough in your life. I want to congratulate you for joining this service. I want to congratulate you for being in this place in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter you are online. It doesn't matter you are here. The spirit of the Lord is moving in the mighty name of Jesus I want to talk to somebody you have cried for a long time what's her name 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 Who 
Don't worry, crying is normal. Oh, don't worry, crying is, is something that is usual. Don't hesitate to show your tears to the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm believing the Lord for a breakthrough. I didn't come here to just preach a message and go home. I came here to preach a message so that the captives will be set free. In the mighty name of Jesus, it doesn't matter the amount of God that are cutting your situation. There is a power in the name that we have believed in. There is a power in the name of Jesus. Oh, there is a power in the name of Jesus. Somebody is about to experience a breakthrough. Somebody is about to experience a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Your evening, your night is about to become a morning in the mighty name of Jesus. The word embrace, it means to hold. Hallelujah. It means to hold in one psalm, especially as a sign of affection. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. It means to accept support in the belief or a fear or a change willingly and enthusiastically. You are saying, I'm accepting this support. That's to embrace. If you hear people saying that they embraced the concept, it means that they embraced the idea you need to embrace the thought and the scripture that says all things are possible if you believe. You need to embrace that nothing is too hard for the Lord that made of flesh. We embrace, we hold on to, amen. We actually accept it, amen, amen. Hallelujah. And when you hear that someone is vulnerable, it means there is a quality or a state of being exposed to being attacked or harmed. They are exposed that they can be harmed. They are exposed that can be they can be attacked. Uh, what do I mean this morning? I understand what you are going through. The Lord showed me through a corner. The Lord showed me through a small window. And I am believing that the Lord is going to take you out of that vulnerability. That's why I'm saying embrace God in your vulnerability. Embrace God in your time of cry. It embrace God in that situation. You are not alone, but God is with you. Hallelujah. 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 Now, I want to do justice to this scripture that I have read. I know last week I read, I didn't give you a lot of background. I want to give background to this scripture. Because background is very critical. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Background will help us to know that when we are vulnerable, we need to impress God. When we are vulnerable, we need to come to God in our most vulnerable state. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, 
Uh, this psalm, I want you to understand that it was written or inscribed when David was going through a tough time. David was running away from Saul. I know most of the time when people quote the scriptures from Psalm, they always bring so, but each Psalm applies to a specific incident. In this incident, something had happened. David is now being attacked by Saul, and he is running away. If you go to chapter 20 of First Samuel, you see that Saul had some indignation in his heart to kill David. You see there is a time that David and Jonathan have a covenant but whilst they have a covenant Saul's wrath did not stop. He kept on pursuing David. Uh, when you go to chapter 21, you are going to see David is running away from Saul and he goes to Ahimelech. As he goes to Ahimelech, the Bible says when he got there, David asked for food. I can believe and I can think he didn't have something to eat, so he asked for bread. And Ahimelech had to give him the holy bread so that he could eat. But whilst he was at that same place at Ahimelech's place, the Bible says David actually asked Ahimelech because he lied to Ahimelech because of his situation. When you are vulnerable, you can lie. Am I talking to the church? <laughs> When you are vulnerable, you can. David lied because he was a vulnerable. He was looking for a way to gain and to get support. He was looking for a way to escape from so, amen, amen. The Bible says as he was there, he didn't have a weapon at Ahimelech's house. That's where they kept the sword of Goliath that David had used to kill Goliath. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. How many know the story of David and Goliath? That David used the weapon that Goliath was carrying to cut off his head. Let me tell you, you are not going to face any harm. The God that you serve loves you so much that no disaster should be for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, scripture tells me that you shall see them but they shall not come near you ten thousand shall fall at your right hand side and a thousand at your left hand side you will only see them but they will not get near you because of the power of the Holy Ghost I need to remind somebody that is crying in this place greater is he that is in you than the one that is in the world. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So David lies and he says, can you, is there any weapon that you have here? And Ahimelech says, there is only the sword that you used to kill Goliath. That sword is here and David says, bring me that sword. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody needs to be reminded of some testimonies that the Lord has done in their life uh, that the Lord has provided in the life uh, you are still serving the same God uh, you don't need to run away from his presence uh, he is the same yesterday today and forever and as David takes that sword uh, he plans to run to Achish the king of Philistia if you have got your Bible I think if you read on top of that psalm, it talks of Abimelech. Abimelech was a king of Philistia. Hallelujah. All the kings of Philistia, they were associated with the name Abimelech. Hallelujah. Regardless, they were coming whatever. Yeah, it's Abimelech. 
Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. So David now, he is actually running away from his own people. And he is going to the people where he killed Goliath. Amen, amen. And why else is running there? The people of Akis. I want you to see how David was vulnerable. The people of Akish, they start to say, isn't this David? Who they say that David has killed a ten thousands and so only thousands. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and David had it. And when he had it, he started to behave, to behave like a madman. No, come on. I need scripture. Let us go to scripture. First Samuel chapter 21. I want you to understand the vulnerability. Verse 10 to 12 to 15. Can you read for me quickly? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 10 to 12. Verse 10 to 12. Very quickly. First Samuel 21. Yeah. From verse 10 it says. Yeah. That day David fled from Saul and went to Achish, yeah. king of God. Yeah. But the servants of Achish said to him. Be, 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 before you, 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 you go ahead. I want you to understand. The scripture that we read. It's at this instant. Where David said, I cried out to the Lord. And he heard me. Hallelujah. And he saved me out of all my troubles. Can you read? But the servants of Achish said to him, mm -hmm. Isn't this David the king of the land? Yeah. Isn't he the one they sing about in their dances? Yeah. Saul has slain his thousands. Yeah. And David his tens of yeah. thousands. Yeah. David took these words to heart. Yeah. And was very much afraid of Achish, yeah. king of God. So he pretended to be insane. I want you to understand. This is the place where David is coming to run to hide. Hallelujah. Don't go and hide in the enemy's camp. Go and hide in Jesus. Hallelujah. When you are vulnerable, the only place you can be safe is in God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Go ahead. So he pretended to be insane in their presence. No penga. And David. while he was in the but in that mad situation, I want to assure you, God is watching you. he was in their hands, he acted like a madman. David Making marks on the doors of the gates. Yeah. And letting saliva run down his beard. Hallelujah. Wadikandama. Wadikandama pane jimba and doda kutawuri da kereke yamari. Yati no fana kubudisira masiri ditiri. It is in prayer. It is when we are crying to the Lord. When, when we are seeking the Lord. When we are saying, Lord, we are vulnerable. But the only place we can be safe is in you. Hallelujah. Can you, can you go ahead? Actually said to his servants, yeah. look at the man. He is insane. The mambo, we, 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 mambo, mambo, we are free. Yeah, that. Buruma no pay in kaya, mamur. 
because dai wa kazi yako ndi David akapinda food trouble pane dzimwe ngwadza unofana kuita unenge munhu asinga zvii zvaari kuita mwari achizia zvake zvaari kutamba the devil is a liar there are times that you need to behave like a stupid person hallelujah hallelujah apa zipese pa unofana kuratidza uchenjeri wako apa zipese pa unofana kuoneka kungwara kwako ah pamwe tendera mwari aoneke pamwe tendera mwari azikanwe pamwe tendera mwari akudzwe ndokuti akafanira nembiri mwari uyo wadika nama we need to lay our crowns and worship him and give him his place we need to lay our crowns david ari kutaurwa waura ya goliath uyo david ari kutaurwa une washinchi wamwe wakauraya asi apa akuita shemuna asi gazwe hondo itabaka shataya there are times you need only to trust in god am i talking to someone can you read ya kutopera look at the man he is insane yeah why bring him to me am i so short of madmen that you have to bring this fellow sikanzi mapenze muno mwaka wanda muno ndunzira rimwe benzi sei hallelujah dzimwe nguwa tendera kutaurwa dzimwe nguwa tendera kutaurwa dzimwe nguwa tendera kutaurwa zita ra jesu rikokudzwa dzimwe nguwa tendera to be vulnerable zita ra jesu rikokudzwa it's not every war that you have got to fight you have got to give god his chance you have got to give god his opportunity Aleluya. Aleluya. Gara yenyu pasu muno amari. Aleluya, aleluya. Zikanzi munondo zira mapenzi. Iro benzi riri kuna matai papa. Ndopa riri kuti I cried out to the Lord. Ndopa riri kuti I cried out to the Lord. Ah ini ndinotenda kuti pray in a simple in it in secret places. Do not tend to put prayer in a simple in it or in a secret places where you are saying I cried out to the Lord and the Lord heard me and he took me out of all my troubles when you read the chapters after this you are going to see victory after victory on David ah he ran away from this and he went to hide in the cave of Adullam but why was he in the cave of Adullam they could not kill him hallelujah hallelujah ah the people that were close they actually sold him out i want you to know that david for david to to to, to be discovered where he was there is a person called doyek that actually sold out david on what he was doing hallelujah hallelujah and david was so vulnerable he could not trust anybody hallelujah hallelujah in your times of solitude god is still with you am i talking to somebody am i preaching to somebody i don't know if i'm talking to somebody maybe i'm the only person that only feels vulnerable sometimes but i know the lord took me to this scripture because there are people here that feel vulnerable right now there are people right here that feel exposed and are being attacked from left to right to center they don't know where to run i am just saying remain on jesus he will make it through for you remain on jesus he will give you victory
only hands, but they are also precious to God. Cries are not only hands, but they are also precious to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When he hears our genuine cries, he is always ready to save us from our troubles. For our personal glory, we started this for the glory of God. For the glory of God. For the glory of God. Just putting my hand as a conduit. That's what I can put next week. We'll continue with this. That's what I need to continue. It's not yet finished. Let's see, Tara Jesus. 